So I don't know what's been happening. Uh, the past few times I've had sex with my wife, uh, I've only been able to come once. And it's usually like seven minutes in if I'm lucky. And then we go for like another 45 minutes, and I, I just I can't do it again. Uh, You're the man who busts once with his wife and cannot bust again, and it's ruining your life. Is that correct, my friend? Yeah, that is correct. <laughs> All right. How's your day going, buddy? It's going all right, man. I'm at work. You're at work. <laughs> I'm driving a forklift. Oh, hell yeah, dude. A fucking working man. You come home, you're fucking putting pallets away at fucking BJ's Wholesale, and you just all you want to do is come home and bust two to three times with your gorgeous wife. And something is is something is stopping you. Is that correct? Yeah. All right, so so let me let me ask you a question here. You so your dick stays hard. Walk me through a a, a general love making session. You're with your wife. You're you're you do your normal, you know whatever position you know whatever it is. You're busting pretty fast. It sounds like right. Yeah. So you bust at a nice fast time, and then your dick just stays hard. Uh, yeah, I can wait like five minutes and we'll go at it again and just go stay hard. Just nothing happens. Now, let me ask you this. It stays hard. Is th Does it go soft at all or do you like clamp down on it? Clamp down on the base. It'll, it'll go soft if I pull out. Yeah, it'll go soft when you pull out. And are you busting loads in your wife? Yeah. Okay. All right. Wow. And there's no discomfort here. It's just you don't have another nut in you. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. And so let, why is it? Okay. Let me, let me, let's take a different philosophical approach to this problem. Uh, why do you see this as a problem? Right? Cause this is a, this is one sexual, um, encounter, right? And you're both busting. You just happen to bust fast and she happens to bust a little later. How long after your first, after your bust, does your wife bust usually? Uh, I don't know. I never actually asked how long. I just know. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? You, know, you don't have to ask, you fucking idiot. You can tell when she busts. Don't you know when your wife busts? No, I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> okay, don't watch it. Don't say the R. Uh, <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> you don't know when your wife comes. You can't feel it. She doesn't make like, she doesn't sound like a ghost. Uh, no, nah, she I means she does. She to make noise and stuff the whole time, you know. <laughs> oh, she's got the, the, whole, the whole time she's she's going, ooh. Yeah, man. Okay, so do we have any proof that she is busting, or do you are you just thinking she's busting? I mean, I've asked her before. You've I asked how long? How long have you guys been married? Let me ask you that. Uh, we got married about a year ago. About a year ago, this and how long? Were you, how long were you together? Congratulations, by the way. Thanks, man. Uh, three years. Three years. Hmm. Okay. All right. Here's what we're going to need to do. There's a couple things we need to figure out. A, does your wife have a fucking vibrator? Yeah. She does. You're going to need to watch her jack off. And you're going to need to take notes. And you're going to need to elicit the same exact response as she gets the same kind of sh shakes, the same kind of shimmies. Maybe finger popper while she does it so you get a little reading of the inside of her pussy while it's happening too. Okay? All right. All right? And then, and then look, this is a doc. I'm a, I'm a medical professional. Then you got to make sure you know when she's busting. Um, and then, and that's, that's number one. But that's a little side quest. The second thing is we need to figure out why you're not getting, why you're not busting again. So let me ask you this. Do you ever try anything out of the ordinary? On the second go round, like, do you go? You typically go. You bust, she busts, and then I think at that point it's time to open it up. I think at that point you're playing with house money. You both got a nut off, so why don't we try? You know, you getting your nipple nipple sucked. You know All what I'm right. saying? Why don't we try? Is there anything you're you're curious to try to give it, give it a whirl? I mean, we've tried it all. You know, you've you gotta, tried it all. Uh, yeah, man. And Girl, nothing. Nice little Spencer gifts. A sp you get some <laughs> stuff, you know. <laughs> you go to Spencer's for fuck toys. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> this is cute, man. You're 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 pretty young. You got married young, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. 
I don't think you've tried it all. I think you you think you've tried it all. I think there's other stuff you can do. Okay? I think you need to get your your tits chewed on. I think you need to get your fucking a little pinky. Maybe you need to get your ball sucked. And let me ask you this. This is the ultimate move. What about just beating if you were to be hooking up with your wife and you both come and you beat off, could you come then? I don't know. I've never actually tried beating You've off. You've never afterwards. tried beating off. All right, dude. Here's what it's going to take. We need both. This, this is the solution to this problem is beating off in both directions. A, you need to watch your wife beat off with a vibrator. And you need to be like, this is my shit. In fact, we could do two for one. Watch your wife beat off with a vibrator while you beat off. It's probably be pretty hot. You're probably going to be in there, right? Um, and, and, and then... You, a, you'll get to conduct this scientific study of how you, of how it is your wife busts, so you know for your own records. And B, you get to find out if you can bust that second nut with beating off. And if that's the case, you work backwards from there. Okay, you work backwards, right. j- jack off, maybe get a little fucking a, a move. I a move. I'm you know I'm kind of interested in person. Listen, this is for my personal move book. This is this is for you, right? If cuz I have a fucked up foreskin, it seems like you have a healthy penis. Uh maybe get a little face fuck, beat off face fuck beat off back and forth, okay? That that I'm prescribing you one face fuck beat off back and forth. And that if that doesn't help you come, brother, I don't know what to tell you, okay? Uh but I, but the fact that you haven't tried beating off tells me you absolutely have not tried everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right you were like i've tried it all and i was like what about jacking off in the same room as your wife you're like have not gotten that crazy yet <laughs> could try and talk her into that i think that's an easy sell all right pal just listen right, just man. tell her you find it hot she'll be into it yeah all right okay what do you think do you feel okay with this uh with this with uh with this advice yeah try that out okay how how is everything going in the rest of your life good pretty good man you got the forklift going absolutely all right dude i love hearing this thank you for taking time i don't want to ask you anymore where you where you live where you work questions i don't want to incriminate you but listen bro you got to get out of your sexual shell all right i can tell you're a little timid Maybe you've tried. May, it's when you say you've tried it all. It sounds like maybe you did it. You put it in her butt one time, and you're like, "Yeah, I'm a fucking freak." You got a lot to learn, Chief. All right, I want I want you beaten off with. I want you to have rare sexual oils. I want you. I want you and your wife. I want you get. I want you to have his and hers butt plugs by the end of this. Okay. All right. All right, brother. Thank you for calling in. You're the first live caller on Stavi solves your problem. Uh. We uh we really appreciate you. Thanks, bud. We'll talk to you. Thanks. Sir. Hey, listen, call back in a in a month or so. Let us know how it goes, okay? Leave a voicemail. I will. All right. Bye, buddy. Bye, man. Oh, a cute kid. He was you could tell he was a little nervous to be on the call. Uh, but I think we got I think we got I think Dr. Stavros pre- prescribing a dual beat off session. I think we might have solved this issue. I'm really hopeful for that. I think that's a start of something beautiful. Um, either, yeah. Either that or his supervisor was walking behind the forklift. Although he didn't say anything incriminating. But I respect him from calling in, <laughs> calling in from, from fucking work to for me telling him to fucking jack off while he finger pops his wife. <laughs> If this was the Victorian era, I would show up as the doctor and I would finger pop his his wife with a cold expression on my face. Like, doctor, my wife, she's got she's got hysteria. And it's like, well, let me fix that. <laughs> Cute kid, though. Cute kid, for sure. He's at the forklift. I guess that's true. I should have told him to, to maybe get try and fuck on the forklift. Maybe try and put a fucking put a helmet and a high vis vest on and maybe get his dick sucked at work. Maybe try role playing. He seems like he'd be too nervous to role play, but he'll get there. I envy that finding your soulmate and you can try a bunch of weird sexual shit together without being nervous.